Today is the day. As some of you may know, I have basically every camo in this game, every camo multiplayer, and almost every camo in zombies except for the Groza. So today, we'll be getting the Groza Dark Aether. And this is going to be kind of bittersweet because I really, really enjoy grinding camos. I've been trying to prolong this as long as possible. But after today, there's going to be no more camos to grind until next week or season six, whenever season six comes out. I think it's next week, but they will be adding some new guns that we can get done. But for now, this is our last weapon. And I think I saved a good one for last because for this weapon, I have exactly one kill with it. So we need to get 2,499 kills, 2,499 crits, and the rest. So lots to do here today really quick let's go through our attachments i have the mill stop reflex kgb eliminator 15.7 inch contour m2 barrel v mouthful ember sighting point bruiser grip vdv 50 round fast mag serpent grip and the kgb pad also using ring of fire obviously well, like i said lots to do let's hop on firebase and get this done oh here's our twin driving us in one last time i'm gonna miss grinding camos all right Let's get our crits done. Let's make this the most efficient run we've ever had. There we go. Five for five. He's insane. I wish there was like a wall buy or something for the size so I could always skip that first door. The last few times I've played on here, I've only used the size and now it's just like, it feels empty not being able to skip first door. But we can still buy it pretty easily. Oh, Peck. As much shit as I give you, I'm gonna miss you. It's not like this is gonna be my last time ever playing on Firebase. Come on down, zombie. I ain't got all day. No! Oh, there goes my perfect crit ratio. All right, let's pop up in the store. Oh, I forgot to hit the rampage inducer. I'm going back. Can't believe I forgot it. Let's turn this on. Something fell off. I was sitting there waiting for the round to start. And I'm like, why is this taking so long? I got caught up in the moment. Let's get this bonus points. Open the door. Grind the rail. Oh no, I paused on it. Dang. I can't be messing up the rail on the last run. I even tried to make it sick by shooting in it. I got to do it again. Zombies need to get out of the way. Let's start up the reactor, if anything. All right, let's hit the rail real quick. The slide before and after, a little slow, but I'll take it. Get these zombies out of here. I love how fast these rounds start. No time to wait. There we go. That's the first reactor done. Pop this open. Let's grind the rail down. Oh, come on. I'm like one for three. Leave the reactor alone. Max ammo, we take those. Second reactor's done, goodbye. This is the one we can't mess up. Grind the rail! Come on. One more time. Can't mess it up. Yeah. Okay. You know what? It's not meant to be. You've won this round, Rails. Okay, this one for sure. Off this one. Come on. <laughs> Start up the reactor. We have one zombie left. Might as well take him out. And now we're on round five. Oh, there's our stroke camo. We're one camo in. Wasteland as well. And our reactor is done. Please don't die. Whew. That was close. And I have just enough to get pack a punch. So let's go do that. Lots of zombies. We're going to have to ring a fire here. Please don't kill me. I'm just a boy. Get this guy. Insta-kill. We take those. All right. Let's pack a punch. We can go over here, get this loose change. We are not safe here. I need to leave. I'll come back for perks in a little bit. Oh my God, Mimic. No. Mimic almost got us screwed. We got an acidic camo out of it, so I guess it all worked out. And really quick, this is what the Groza looks like with the first pack-a-punch camo. Can't really see it. The inspect on the Groza kind of sucks. I get the boys a kiss. Okay, we're all set. All right, this is the inspect on the Groza again. It's really small, actually. I don't know why it's, like, so low down there. When you reload it, the inspect goes higher up. Kind of weird. We're falling behind on our crits already. We just got our growl camo. Still racking up camos, even if we're not getting as many crits as I'd like. Extortion camo. Get extorted. All right, at the end of this round, I'm going to save one so I can go get perks. We desperately need some perks. Gunrunner camo. Always the best part of the grind when it's just nothing but camos popping up. Double points? Give me that. Okay, this is the last zombie, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, no, there's two. So I'm killing him or doing damage to him. All right, what perks do we need? Probably Jug. We'll get Quick Revive. And let's get Death Perception so we can stack up on some salvage and get our gun upgraded. Speaking of which, can we do it now? We got a green. Zombie, get the fuck off me. Jeez, no respect for privacy. All right, we gotta go. We need to get the fuck out of here. All right, we're back home. And we should be set for a while. Obviously, we need to go get more perks and pack a punch again, but we should be fine for a bit. There's our Corrosion Camo. Still racking them up. It's about to be a speed run. Sunder camo. I really hope when Vanguard comes out, there's a spot just like this that is just easy for grinding. But also Vanguard, you know, it's over a month away. But in a week, we have a brand new zombies map coming out. The Forsaken. So I'm excited to see how that works. 
And it's also been confirmed that our last perk here is going to be PhD Slider, I'm assuming. Because there's you can't dolphin dive in this game, so it's not going to be flopper. But what do you guys think the the tier upgrades are going to be? Obviously, it's going to be the sliding to do damage to you know enemies you slide by. Maybe it'll be like increased damage range or something like that. But also, I'm pretty sure it's going to have like immune effects to splash damage from your own like explosives. So launchers might become meta. Probably not, but they'll definitely get more use. So that's going to be fun to see. I'm excited for that to come out. Lots of new stuff coming here. Degeneration camo. The 250 kills all pack a punch and the entropocy um, camo. I don't know how to fucking pronounce it. We have our first assault wave. The assault wave can wait. I need some more perks. I think I'm gonna get pack two first. All right, pack two, let's get cryo. Turn around, kill the mimic. Bye, bitch. Then we're gonna get dead shot. Shut up, pack. Ah, got it before he even spoke. Are the zombies already running out here looking for me? Yup, right on time. Thank you for bringing me crits. Ooh, here they all come. Bring me those crits. I don't care if you take out the little machine out there. Just feed me crits. Easy. All right, let's redeem ourselves. Hitting the rail out here. Quick 360. Ooh, okay. Not bad. Oh, lots of zombies. Come on. Look at all those crits. Rising tiger camo. Let's go. And contamination. And while we're waiting for the last zombie to get here, this is what the Groza looks like. Pack punch two. Pretty neat. Wish I could see it a little more. But I, I know deep down it looks okay. Oh, Mimic, you're already here. And you're already gone. There's our glitch camo. Moving up in the world. One zombie left. Two zombies left, actually. I wish that nuke wasn't there so I can grab the rest of the scrap. All right, it's gone. The scrap is free. We got a few more perks to get, so I'm gonna go grab those. And right now, 411 crits out of 459 eliminations. That's not bad. All right, we need speed cola, stamina up, meal kick for some ammo. Might as well just get tombstone. And we're chilling. I'm gonna stun him. Upgrade my weapon to blue and purple. Get my armor level two. Kill him and we're leaving. All right, keep an eye on these crits. 413, 418, 419. Weed! I had to at least once. It's only right. What's up, Mangler? Gone. Man, I was really hoping in this game that they'd add an obsidian type camo for zombies or like at least multiplayer. I have absolutely zero camos to get. I might make a whole new account just so I have something to do. So we've basically done everything in zombies. We even have like most of the dark ops done, except for like the million kills. But we've gotten round 100. We've done the Easter egg on this map, Mauer. Uh, one of the outbreak ones, the other one we did not finish. I mean, we still have to do D Machina. But like besides that, we're champions out here. Actually, <laughs> We finally unlocked everything. We can actually play the game now. But if all these soldiers are supposed to be like Omega, how do they have such a giant army? And then Requiem has four people to come in and just destroy everything. Omega's trash. Omega skates Mongo. All right, here's Assault Wave number two. Our last round of our Rampage Inducer. I'm gonna take a free cruise missile. All right, which one are they coming out of? Right here. We can honestly just wait right here for them to run at us in a single file line. Come on, zombies. I'm to Papa. Mangler, get off of that. Bad. I always forget there's like multiple waves of zombies that come through here. But either way, it's still too easy. But I'm excited to see how this thing's going to do against Orda. I don't think this has the most range, but its fire rate is kind of insane. It's been melting zombies thus far. And I feel like Orda is just going to be another thing that gets melted by this. Speaking of melted, Rampage Inducer is over. And I now have enough to get pack three. Get out of here, Mimic. Don't need you. You either, Mangler. Bouncing the stun off the wall. And there's pack three. All right. This is what the Groza looks like with pack three. Very clean. But again, this inspect is laughable. And now we can just bunker down right here until the end of time or until Orda shows up. Double points. Let's go. Just start stocking up. Manglers are such bitches. You can really just shoot their gun and they completely stop what they're doing. They just get rolled so easy. If the spawns here were just a little faster, you could get camos done so quick. But this still is like the most efficient spot. Was our grudge camo, 750 kills. We're like, what, a quarter of the way there? I don't know how to do math. Look at that, Mangler gone. Like immediately, they're cowards. You know what? If I want faster spawns, I'm going to the faster spawn spot. I'm bringing this last zombie with me. That way we don't get every spawn going off and then it'll actually just take longer. But while we're here, we can upgrade our armor and we're getting close to being able to get this legendary. Might as well grab the blueprint too. All right, let's see how this works here. Because if a gun can withstand in here, it's truly a good gun. Use our ring of fire. Instead of reloading, actually you can still just reload. Just right in his face, disrespect him. Don't want that nuke, leave it alone. We got our boundary camo though. Let's stun really quick. I don't think the stun even worked. It doesn't matter though. This thing shreds, jeez. 
Give me that max ammo. Easy. I just gotta be careful not to try to pick up anything over here because I might accidentally open that door and just mess these spawns up. I just already used this spot more often when I was starting to grind out camos. Because when you have a gun that's good, this just makes rounds go by so much faster. And then you can move up the kernels once it starts getting a little more intense. I wonder if it's better to like hug this desk or not. I wanna try it out. This is a good ass spot. Still would recommend kernels over this though. And we finally have enough to get this all the way up to legendary tier. So let's grab that. And we're completely set up. The only thing we're missing is elemental pop and we're not getting that unless we really need it. This thing actually just demolishes. Its fire rate is insane. The only AR I can think to compare to this fire rate is the Fara. I might be missing an AR, but this thing is just absolutely disgusting. Come on, just get us to Orda. Oh, lots of zombies now. Still no problem for the Groza. I'm glad I saved this one for last. This is a really good weapon. Glad it wasn't the ZRG. Okay, hopefully only one more round till Orda, but I have a feeling he's gonna make me wait. Oh, come on, zombies. Let's talk about this for a second. Psych, no time to talk. Groza shoots too fast. Bring a fire. Eat it. Give me those double points. Last zombie, I think. There we go. We got Orda. It's time. My ring of fire isn't ready. But I have some Semtexes, so really quick. 1,393 eliminations, 1,225 crits. So that is our ratio before we're about to nade some zombies. We're not far off. Only by about like 100, almost 200. But we have this nice viewing platform here. Orda is done. Absolutely no chance. Come on down, Orda. It's time. You're standing in my way of getting my last gun dark aether. I'm not here for it. For the zombie spawn, let's see how much damage it does. A thousand per shot. That's pretty good. This is without ring of fire, and we've already taken out at least a quarter of his health. That's ridiculous. Okay, zombies are spawning in. Quick little nade should get me my ring of fire back. There we go. All right, Orda. Say goodbye. 1,800, 1,900 per shot. 2,000. That dead shot multiplier. Holy! This thing is actually destructive. Oh, he's already gone. That... Might have been the fastest I've killed Orda, or at least near it. The Groza is such a good weapon in zombies. Jeez. That was child's play. Fastest round ever. And we only had to use one Semtex, so we're still not that far behind. Topped off and good to go. Bay. Lots of zombies now. We gotta hold our ground. Insta kill. That's what I like to see. It's actually no challenge in here. No challenge at all. How have I been sleeping on this gun for so long? I should go back and like time my Orta kills. I wonder if this really is like the best weapon against them. Because I haven't seen anything do that much damage to it unless I'm forgetting. Because Orta actually just got destroyed. I think no matter what, even if we do get Dark Aether before Orta shows up again, I want to fight him one more time. I want to see if the damage still holds up. <laughs> How'd the Mimic not grab me? We're at our Bloodshed camo, 1,500 kills. This is such a cheese spot. Okay, Ring of Fire. I'm getting low health. An insta-kill with Ring of Fire is actually just not fair. Completely unfair to these guys. Unfair to my crit ratio, too. Just stray bullets are killing zombies, and it's not helping me out with these camos. Let's repair our armor. That's the best part about this spot. So close on elimination. 619, we got the right Mysterio number. This is our drench camo. Now we're on to the grueling part of the grind where we need a thousand more kills. Oh, we got a stun. Please don't go down. We don't go down around here. Especially with Ring of Fire available. Can you imagine if it was like this in other zombies games? Like if BO2 was this easy? Oh, please don't die here. I'm gonna stun so I can reload. All right, gave me just enough time. It's starting to get a little crazy in here. I'm gonna try to hold it out at least until like round 35. So maybe one more round in here because it's getting kind of intense. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna stay until I absolutely can't. If I have to start using nades each round, then I'm leaving. But for right now, we're, we're still holding out. We gotta time our ring of fire is a little better because these mimics are tanking damage now. Okay, now let's ring of fire. I'm gonna grab that max ammo too while we're at it. <sighs> ring of fire is so good, dude. I don't know why you use any other field upgrade while grinding camos. Like, if you already have zombies down and you have your stuff upgraded, there's literally no point in not using Ring of Fire. Okay, stunning. So I can reload. There's our threshold camo. Gotta stun one more time because they are extremely close. These armored zombies are taking way too many shots to kill, but we're still kicking it in here. What's going on here? Two crawlers, an armored crawler. Get out of here. Oh, no. Woo. That was close. Extremely close. Okay, maybe actually one more round in here. Cause that got that got way too close for comfort. Oh, they're getting really close to me. I've been saying close a lot. Ring of fire. And oh my god. Yeah, spawn a nuke on me during a ring of fire game. Dick. Stunning again. Oh no. This became bad news bears real fast. Gotta stun one more time. We only have two stuns left. 
We have a ring of fire. We can make it out of this. Okay, I got a stun. They're so close to me. Oh my god. Insta kill. Let's go. Really need that against those armored zombies. Okay. We survived this round, but that is my last round in here. I'm gonna grab armor level three. All right. Back to our bread and butter. I think we can survive a little longer in kernels. We have a little more leeway, but we have to deal with the stupid mangler glitch. Okay, we actually have to stun already. I guess nowhere is safe. We might just need elemental. It might be time. Ring of fire time, baby. Let's go. Now let's get these easy crits. It's so satisfying when it gets to the point where you're seeing nothing but yellow numbers pop up. Jeez. This might be like the most satisfying gun in this game so i really liked using this in multiplayer this is one of my favorite grinds and zombies it it translates it's really good and we do have the mangler glitch so i'm gonna repair my armor and i think we have to get elemental that electric cherry is just gonna help us out so much just in those tough situations oh critical kills 1069 or 690 but come on sex all right maxed out on perks is this mangler stuck too what's up with manglers getting stuck on this map actually i've never looked out this way it's beautiful is this where the whole like driving sequence is when you're coming in on the jeep going this way that's crazy i didn't even notice that i wish there was theater mode so i can go and explore all those like areas in one second here i've actually never looked around there's some houses up here we're in like a big valley. Oh, that house isn't doing too well. The sun just kissing the mountaintop. Beautiful. This map gets a lot of hate, but I played this map way more than any other. And since we have elemental pop, let's try this room. I want to see if it's a little easier in here with elemental, because if it's not, then we're just going to be stuck in kernels. All right, come on, zombies. Bring it in. So far, so good. All right, now we got to use ring of fire. Are the double points just because? Oh, there's a max ammo down there. I could use that. It's a little crowded in here at the moment. Give me that max ammo. Mangler. I'm gonna take the dome off. There you go. Goodbye. We have 200,000 points right now. We're rolling in it. When you say rolling in it, it kind of sounds like somebody from Britain's just confirming that you're rolling. Rolling in it. Okay, we can tank this for a second. Bonus points. Okay, ring of fire. We have no health. Oh, my Lanza. Mangler, you better step back. I don't know who you're stepping to like that. It's not me. Hopefully, Orta gets here right at 40, and we can go and test this on him again. Somebody needs to fix the ceiling, though. It should not be leaking like this. Where's Osha? Okay, they're hitting a little harder now. I have to ring a fire a little sooner. Oh, please don't kill me. Grab the armor, please. Please grab the armor. There we go. Oh, brain rotted the mangler, or the mimic, whatever your name is. Hey, okay, insta-kill with a brain rotted elite in a ring of fire is just brutal for these zombies. There we go, round 40, Orta's on his way. We just used our ring of fire, but we have nades, we're fine. We can easily get it back. Might not even need it with this thing, but we'll see. The The health increase from round 30 Orta to round 40 Orta is kind of crazy. All right, come on back for round two Orta. It's time, let's put the Groza to the test. Okay, still doing kind of decent damage. Getting a lot on him, actually. So one full magazine did that much damage. Not bad. Let's throw a nade down. Maybe even two. There we go. Almost at our ring of fire. Gotta throw down another nade. Let's ring of fire on Orta. It is melting him now. Not as much as it was earlier, but that's a given. Oh, get off me. Oh, he's critting. Come on, please. Let's go. That's like 4,000 damage right there. We're hitting him for 2016 right now. It seems like it's not hitting as as well. Like the damage is still fine, but it's not like registering my hits, if that makes sense. Holy zombies. I forgot they're in here. <laughs> Hold on. Let's take out these zombies. Get a few crits while we're here too. Orta, please go away. Mangler, you as well. You're not supposed to be getting this close, Orta. Like it feels like I'm not getting as many hit markers. Like right here. You can't take... He doesn't take any damage. You have to shoot him, like, up here. I think that might have been our problem. Get, up, get away from me. Stunning. And he's down. Let's get these crits before they all despawn. Goodbye, Orda. Didn't even get in here. On round 40, coward. But this is a time where we actually need the carpenter and the max ammo. I had no armor and no ammo. Absolutely perfect. Let's go back to our psycho spot. Uh-oh. There's already a lot. Shatter Blast helping out a little bit. Okay, Ring of Fire now. I should not get that low of health. Oh, it's getting close in here. I don't think I can survive in here any longer. After this round, I'm going back to Colonels. Uh-oh, I'm not doing nearly enough damage to this Mangler that I need to. Ring of Fire. Oh, I just got saved by Jug. Holy shit. Round 40 is a different beast in here. All right, that's everybody. Going back to Colonels. That did really help make those rounds go by a lot faster. We're back home. Once I get a second, I got to give the boys one more kiss. So I'm sure they're mad at me for being away. All right, I got a little bit of time. 
Just in reverse order. Those are rotten camo. All of our normal kills are done. We've gotten a lot of kills this game. Literally had one kill with it at the start. And we actually haven't had to kill the stuck mangler at all. It has gotten stuck, but we've stayed away from it every time it has. We've like teleported through, gotten perks, gone and upgraded. Like it has not, it's been a non-issue for us. Jeez, this mangler takes 800 shots to kill. With the ring of fire, not that many. I really wish I would have went with the armor penetration barrel on this. Can you really tell the difference on the armored zombies and the manglers? They just absolutely tank shots. We're actually so close to being done. All we need is 300 more crits. And our camo grinds are over. Speaking of camos, there's our chemical camo. Literally one more camo left. I also saw some people mad that, you know, PhD is getting in instead of, uh double tap you really don't need double tap in this game especially with things like ring of fire multiple pack a punch tiers weapon upgrades like it'd be a little overkill but i wouldn't complain if it got in i think that's everybody we have our trap mangler what no whenever this happens why is a zombie spawning all the way down here why is that a thing it should never be a thing this might be our last round we don't have a ring of fire so we really have to try to hold our ground as much as we can We're gonna have to stun here okay reload Let's work on the mangler a little bit. Too many zombies, actually. Gonna stun again. Not having a ring of fire is dangerous up here. Okay, there it is. Oof. In an insta-kill, let's go. Gonna keep tapping, though. Don't want stray bullets to get kills. We need those crits. Okay, mangler's gonna be an issue. Now he's not. He's past tense. No, not a nuke! Oh, I really didn't need that. Please be more zombies. Are you it? Is that it? Okay, I think a few more are coming. But very few. Ah. <sighs> It might have ruined our chances of being able to exfil. Against normal zombies, though, this thing still holds up. It's just with this barrel I have on, armor is just not doing it. A stun. These mimics need to get out of my face. I probably need to stun again. They're actually just tanking shots. Okay. We should be safe now. Knock on wood. Another ring of fire. No! Oh, man. Gotta use the self-revive here. I was so close to making it through this whole thing without going down. I couldn't pop the ring of fire in time. I have to do it now, though. We don't have dead shot to get us through this. Oh, there goes our X-Fill. Okay, last zombie left is our Mangler. So close to getting this done by X-Fill. We would have been a little better on our crits. We would have been fine. I'm going to go ahead and buy Self-Revive back. Get all of my perks back. Repair the armor. And we still have 300,000 points. Ridiculous. While we're here, let's go ahead and grab a Death Machine. Because why not? Is the Mangler stuck over here too? What's up with you and getting stuck, pal? This would be so annoying if I was going for high rounds. We're actually so close to getting dark aether on this we're like 20 crits away come on show me dark aether show me gold viper come on right here right now any second ring of fire here it comes go ahead don't be shy there it is every single camo in the game is now unlocked let's go got the groza expert as well i can't believe we're all out of camos this is sad i got one more thing to do even with all these zombies here we have to go pay our respects to dr peck that's done actually because i kind of screwed myself there all right talk to me peck yeah sit there laugh at me peck guess what i'm about to gas you out all right let's talk to rabinov let's hold the area down if i wouldn't have shot all these zombies wouldn't be coming at me but what's the fun in that no i'm actually down oh we made it back up easy buy the perks back since we're right here all right rabbit off give me the id badge oh we gotta self-revive there's no zombies around grab the rest of these grab the id badge grab a self-revive oh no i forgot to grab one of the doses open got a nade grabbed it stun oh i'm so gonna get myself cornered get me out no stun again damn it all right there we go brain rock got us up we need to get our perks back though okay got our perks back and we're already down again no all right let's give him a second go ahead clear out get out of here self-revive grab these all back all right no more going down nading open up the door let's go we have no armor i think we're good let's go to the table and make a self-revive real quick easy okay now this one's gonna be tough to grab down here it's real tough come on bring a fire we have to hold our ground right here nades nades are going out and i killed myself with the nade there we go grab the sample and we're moving no no Oh! I've gone down so many times trying to do this. Okay, right, go on. Get away. Oh, wait. A few more. Gentlemen. Sir. Oh, come on, dude. Get out of here. Go on. Get. Shoo. Yeah, I'm hitting it. Pick up the stun, too. Let's run. All I have is jug left. No quick revive. No self revive. I have an idea, though. We're grabbing stamina up. Okay. A little bit of speed. We're pretty far away from some zombies, so we can grab another self revive. All right, we're back in it. We have one more sample to get, and it's back home. Okay, open up. Run out the death machine. Fuck it. 
Give me the sample. Please. All these zombies need to get the fuck out of my way. Okay, we're just gonna run now. Repair our armor. Okay, that'll keep us alive a little longer. Let's mix up the sample. I'm gonna stand out here while it does that so I don't get trapped. Here comes the hellhounds. Oh, shit. No. Not happening. Okay. We have our device. Pick it up! Run! There's only a few zombies left. So before we go and say our farewell to Peck, let's get some perks back. All right. We're all good. And you know what? I will exfil this game. You gotta end it on an exfil. Mangler, take care of business for me. I'm grabbing Shatter Blast to make it a little easier. Okay, we bought a war machine because our death machine was already kind of low. Actually, I don't even know if it was low. I just wanted a brand new one. Let's go give Peck what he deserves. Hot box the air vent. You like that little man, huh? Yeah, that came right for me. Little bitch, little fuck. Yeah, that's the Indica. You know what? Actually, it might be a sativa. All right, go ahead and dance, little bitch. I'm gonna get through these next two rounds. All right, we can make it two more rounds, especially with this little ring of fire. That's the one time I want to nuke. No, please don't go down again. Oh, let's go. We're powering through it. All right, round 50. One more round to go. Unless Orta's here. I wonder if we can just exfil if Orta's here. We can just be like, later. Waste his time. Oh, stun. No! Oh, I didn't want to have to go back and go get perks. All right, I guess I'm using my self-revive. I'm not happy about it. No, please don't kill me. I will not get up with a quick revive. No! Oh my god. Mimic, come back. Please. No, this is not how I wanted to go out. But I guess it's destiny. Zombie, get back here. Don't you run away from me. You either. Oh no. Come here. I don't even have electric cherry. Uh-oh. This is how it ends. At least we got our revenge on Peck before it happened. I could have used my death machine. My war machine, whatever it's called. I couldn't get it out in time. Oh no, the crits. It was cursed. All right, whatever. <laughs> I was kind of just ticking around at the end there anyways. Would have liked the x but it doesn't matter to me. Look at all those levels. Oh no. I just barely went over 420. Maybe if I would have just left after I got it, I would have been right at the weed level. That would have been perfect. But here's every single camo for the Groza. Pretty easy. All right, now let's take a look at the zombies mastery camos on the Groza. Here is Gold Viper. Actually, disgustingly gross. The, it still keeps the wood on there with the matte black. I don't know. I'm not a fan. This is pretty clean, however. Plague Diamond, very nice. Always is. The texture is dancing, though. And Dark Aether. Probably the cleanest of the bunch. Actually, I don't know. Like diamond might be better, but it looks way better here than it does on gold. They actually got rid of that little wood paneling here. Very nice. Now let's go see what it looks like in game. And this is what the Groza looks like in game with Dark Aether. Right here is just a default animation or the default stance with it. Already nice to see it inspect. That's a little better. That's, I mean, maybe in zombies, I couldn't see it over like the perk HUD and everything, but I, I can see it way better here. This is a very nice weapon with Dark Aether. Dark Aether has just got to be the cleanest camo in this game. It is far and away better than Dark Matter, at least like looks wise. But dang, we are finally done with every camo. I can't believe it. But that's it. Every single weapon in this game, we have both multiplayer and zombies camos for now. So it's going to be a long week until those new weapons come out in season six. But if you've been watching my zombies journey from the start, it's been a long one. I think we've come a long way. Uh, I had no idea what to do in zombies. was very new to it. And now we have every single gun in the game, Dark Aether. So thank you guys for watching this series. Uh, I'm still going to be coming back. Still going to be playing zombies. So don't worry about that. But as for camos, we're done until they add new, new guns into the game. But if you guys like this video and you want to see more when new weapons come out, leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Put all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.